Hey guys, my name is Cassidy, and today I'm doing Dickinson Season 2, Episode 7, Forever is Composed of Nows. And in the last episode, oh, it was so good. So they went to the opera, and Emily ended up writing the letter to Sam's wife, Mary, which made everything incredibly awkward. Um, I think she kind of got lost into Sam for like a little bit. Um, but towards the end of that episode, I think she was seeing more of Sue again. And it in turn <laughs> made her, well, not made her, but she ended up making out with the opera singer and saw Sue as her. So she thought she was making out with Sue is what it looked like, but it was the opera lady. Um, but if you guys want to check out these episodes completely unedited or get early access for anything that I do, please feel free to check out my Patreon in the link in the description below. Also, if you guys would like to come and chat with me, I do go live every Tuesday and Thursday on Twitch. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this episode. What if she has the measles? Or worse, spiritual measles. Spiritual what the measles? I don't know, but I don't want to find out. <laughs> don't uh -uh. worry. More aligned than a newly built railroad. Oh, don't you dare try what? to put this in terms that I can understand. <laughs> she's mansplaining it to him. That's what she's doing. She's mansplaining it to him. That was funny. Or woman-splaining it to him. I have not seen you since the opera, and we need to talk. Does it? Yeah, they need to talk, okay? <laughs> Are we sure this is mud? Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Psst. Sue. Sue. Emily, That's not going to help her relax. Pay attention to Aunt Lavinia. But what do doctors really know? Mm. Very little. Very little. Now, mark my words, at the end of your time in the water cure. <sighs> I've been to, like, a bathhouse thing, and let me tell you, that is oh, not my God. cup of tea. God, it's here. I don't like taking baths, but we can't leave so this is I'm a shower person. Oh, give it. Water cure It was you. not very relaxing. Do not let Energetic leaks can lead to anything, from, from unhealthy relationships to the urge to eat food that tastes good. <laughs> to get the, the urge to taste food that's good. I mean, you of all people, you know what to do with the bullshit. Put it on the page. Write about it. Turn it into Meanwhile, it. Sue doesn't know what to do I with hers. Believe it. Sue, I hate to say this, but it's your fault. <laughs> I hate to say this, but it's your fault. My fault. <laughs> yes. Now it all comes from him. Whoa. What? Uh, There's a lot going on over there. <laughs> where? It's like your brain is on fire. <gasps> that tracks. That tracks. <laughs> She not gonna tell her that she made out with the opera lady that looked like her? <laughs> what kind of spot is this? Oh, it cracks me up. <laughs> Meanwhile, she's just getting whacked with branches. <laughs> Clench our lower anatomy. What? Breathe out everything that's troubling you. What are we Get doing? Centered. Get centered, girls. Live in the moment. Is not that like in the past? Are they doing a kegel? Not in the what future. did they do? What's forever after? What? Is about What's the mom right doing? This is so now. awkward right now. Uh, uh, mm. This water cure. You're my hero. Aww. That was sweet. Now we're in our mid twenties. Writing my will. <laughs> now we're in our mid twenties. We're so old. Adulting is hard. Oh, I second that. I always had this feeling that you would be such a good father. And oh, so she I wants want him to, to be the godfather. Mm -hmm. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Awesome. I'm surprised that she did that actually because. I think she always kind of wanted to be with him. I like to call them polite letters from the South. We are beyond joking. <laughs> polite letters this. from the South. You are putting Emily Dickinson? Uh, George? Oh I thought he God, went to what California. Are you doing here? I'm going to schwitz him. Oh, there you are. Oh, holy cow. You what happened to her? On your skin. I know. I'm very raw. <laughs> Where is everyone else? <laughs> They're all lying on hot coals. I didn't quite feel up to that so i thought yeah, maybe you, you and i could do something a little more calming mm. i'm having a great time <laughs> it's like you're back in my womb you remember when you were nestled tightly in my womb mm. not no. well mom <laughs> i nestled in here and i won't be the same when i come out i won't be the same anymore wouldn't you think well, if you were in a cocoon type thing that you would be 
and it would be warm. Are you warm? I don't understand. Everything is going oh, God, to be okay. Emily, what is it? Emily, I like a snake or something. Emily, teach me how to breathe. Okay, help. Somebody teach me how to breathe. straight jacket <laughs> that's funny oh now she's gonna cry infected just diseased by him i don't know what else it could be mom i think i've fallen in love i don't know what else it could be he shouldn't be making you feel like this yeah someone that's who not loves love you. So angry that i could I don't know. Undust his study. Undust I know he his wants study. What's best for me. <laughs> I know he has made me feel better. Except for what you just said. Mm. I feel almost Aww. healed. For now. For now. <laughs> what are they doing? Oh my god. What are they doing? What is this? <laughs> what was that? What? What was that? <sighs> Why can't they just freaking be together forever? I mean, it's I know why, but nows. But your poem? It's on the front page of the paper. Mmm. Tomorrow. <clears throat> He's doing something though. I know he doesn't want to be with her. Or he says he doesn't, but like the way that he acts sometimes says otherwise. Everyone I ever wrote. Except for the ones to Sue. Because I think Sue has those, but so I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or not. Um, giving him all of those poems. I feel like now she. But now she doesn't have them. And back in the day, you can't make copies unless you're going to rewrite them. So those are all of her poems. I could I have a feeling that maybe something might happen to them. Maybe not. I am a little bit of a pessimist. So I always think on the, on the like darker side of things. But I don't know if that's going to be a good idea. Hopefully not, but we'll see. I don't know. I hope we see more of Emily and Sue in this freaking next episode. I don't know. I was hoping in this one since the way that the last one ended, but who knows? Uh, anyway, if you guys want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for any of the shows that I do, please feel free to check out my Patreon in the link in the description below. Also, if you guys want to come and chat with me, I do go live every Tuesday and Thursday on Twitch. And if you will for me, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.